What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my predictions for the WWE Hall of Fame. So for this year's Hall of Fame, I honestly cannot wait and I'm hoping some of these guys do go in the Hall of Fame this year. If not, they are shoe in for the next about five years. I think all of these guys are going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. Up first is William Regal. William Regal has had one hell of a career. He is retired in the ring right now. He is currently the NXT General Manager and WWE's Global Scout. However, he's had such a great career, even though he's not in the ring anymore. In my opinion, they should be inducting him in the Hall of Fame. But since his career started in WCW, then transitioned over into the Attitude Era and had a whole bunch of stuff and he's done great in his career. He's been very iconic in the ring and I absolutely love everything that he's accomplished. He deserves, in my opinion, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and I think it's gonna be happening very soon because he is retired in the ring and he does have a lot of backstage roles within the company. Next up is going to be Gregory Helms slash The Hurricane. I absolutely love The Hurricane back in the Attitude Era with his comedy and his stuff that he did with The Rock. I thought it was hilarious. The fact that he could compete with The Rock in promos and stuff like that was awesome. I always loved his superhero gimmick. Then whenever he transitioned out of it into Gregory Helms for the Cruiserweight division, I thought that was awesome whenever he turned heel like that. Of course, he was once part of WCW and then once ECW came back, he was part of ECW again whenever it was rebooted and he's had a great career with WWE. He eventually was making returns and he was part of the Indies and then he made returns to WWE in the Royal Rumble and Greatest Royal Rumble events and eventually became a backstage producer for the company. In my opinion, he is one of my favorite high flyers and cruiserweights of all time along with Rey Mysterio but I definitely think that he deserves to go in the Hall of Fame because of all of his WWE accomplishments and how much people absolutely love the character. Next up is Finley. Ever since WCW, he has been, in my opinion, a dominant force. He transitioned over to the WWE eventually, and in the mid-2000s, he had a lot of great things going for him. A lot of great rivalries with Booker T and stuff like that, I thought was fascinating. And then whenever he left the in-ring spots, he became, in my opinion, a backstage producer and he had that role for a very long time before he left the company in my opinion since he's been with the company for so long people love him he's had a great career in wcw and in wwe great matches great rivalries in my opinion he's a shoe-in for a royal rumble induction very soon next up is the big show which in my opinion should go in the hall of fame this year he keeps retiring and then coming back and then people think he retires again and then he comes back he has stated that he has no intent of doing WWE full time, which in my opinion is okay because he wants to work with the guys in the back, the newcomers, the rookies, the young guys, try to give them pointers of what to do and be basically a backstage producer without having that official title and then also working with them in the ring occasionally and having them and basically basically showcasing their good work of having a great match with him. So I think with everything he's done, with his accomplishments, being the World Heavyweight Champion, and how long he's been in the company ever since WCW, and then how long he has been in WWE, he's definitely going to be in the Hall of Fame someday, hopefully very, very soon. I really see it happening this year. Next up, of course, I had to include a tag team, and why not include my favorite tag team of all time, the Hardy Boys. Matt Hardy last year left the WWE and now he is unfortunately part of All Elite Wrestling so maybe he won't be put in the Hall of Fame this year but in my opinion they definitely deserve to be within the next five years. Matt Hardy I believe has stated before he turns 50 he is going to be retiring or maybe at the age of 50 he stated. So he left WWE so he can really have a great end of his career and basically have full control over his character and his schedule which I don't blame him for that. Jeff Hardy, as, as the time I'm recording this video, is still part of the WWE. However, I believe he, since he is aging, he will be either going for a WWE Championship opportunity before he leaves the company, or he is going to be leaving the company and then doing something with Matt's before both of them retire. Uh, ever since the Attitude Era and everything they did, Team Extreme, all the awesome triple threat matches with Edge and Christian and the Dudley Boys, 
they definitely deserve to go in the Hall of Fame together. I know, and I th I've always thought that Jeff Hardy himself would go in the Hall of Fame. Before that happens, I think the Hardy boys together are going to go in the Hall of Fame. Maybe one day Jeff Hardy will go in by himself. That may happen, but I think first we're going to see the Hardy boys go in, and I really hope it happens within the next five years. Next up is Rey Mysterio. In early 2020, he was announcing his retirements. Turns out that was all just a gimmick, of course. Rey Mysterio is just on a almost Legends contract, so he's on Raw and he's on occasional pay-per-views, but he's not doing all of the matches, all of the live shows and stuff like that like the other wrestlers do. He's just doing the pay-per-view and the aired shows, which I think is an awesome thing that WWE allowed him to do because that was his condition of coming back. He didn't want to come back full-time. He wanted to be part of Raw or SmackDown, but he didn't want to be on all the events, just wanted to be on the show, weekly show, and then go on pay-per-views as needed. So he has had a hell of a career, one of my favorite cruiserweights of all time. He had a great showing in WCW, which really projected him to be the top of the cruiserweight division in the WWE, and he really took on that role. He had great matches with Eddie Guerrero and a whole bunch of guys, a great rivalry with Batista. He's had a great career, even winning the Royal Rumble, being the longest person to be in the Royal Rumble for the longest time and going on to WrestleMania to win the World Heavyweight Championship in the main events. His career says it himself. In my opinion, he's the best luchador and he's going to be going in the Hall of Fame this year. I just feel like that. And the last wrestler on my list that I feel is a definite that is going to be going in the Hall of Fame this year because his 30-year career ended this year where he announced his retirements and that is The Undertaker. 30 years in the ring is a tremendous career. His WrestleMania streak alone deserves to make him go into the Hall of Fame. His huge rivalries throughout the years and everything he has accomplished. He is one hell of a wrestler. Since he announced his retirement officially last year, there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to be going in the Hall of Fame this year. And if not, a lot of wrestlers and a lot of people and fans are going to be raging and be very disappointed with the WWE. So, in my opinion, they have to put him in the Hall of Fame this year. Of course, he did sign a 15-year contract with the WWE at the time that he was announcing his retirement in ring. So, he didn't really announce what his backstage role is going to be. I feel like he's going to be a backstage producer and he's going to be doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes that we might not even notice. But he is the age of 55, so basically he's signed to the WWE until he turns 70. So he is going to be with the WWE even though he retired. He's not going anywhere. He's just not going to be in the ring anymore unless, and he did state this, he doesn't need to be in the ring. He's officially done. But if Vince McMahon needs him to come back for an emergency or something really important that he needs to be in, he will come back for that match but he just has no intention right now he feels he accomplished everything that he needed to he doesn't need to be in the ring any longer so in my opinion he's definitely going to be going in the hall of fame this year if not fans are going to rage and in my opinion wwe needs to capitalize on this put him in the hall of fame now that he did finally announce his retirements for the past years now i felt like he should be going in the hall of fame even though he's only having one match at wrestlemania or a couple matches throughout the year or appearances even but now I think it's a shoe in and a guarantee he's going in the Hall of Fame this year. So these are my predictions for the Hall of Fame. I'm hoping at least The Undertaker goes in. And of course, a few of these others I would like to see. Last year, my prediction, I did predict a few wrestlers to be going in the Hall of Fame. JBL, Batista, and NWO. So I'm really excited to see this year if I predict anybody that is going in the Hall of Fame. Hopefully The Undertaker, Big Show, and possibly The Hardy Boys. But we will see what happens whenever it's closer to this year's hall of fame comment down below who you feel like is going in the hall of fame this year and i'll leave this video here please take care peace